questions that have come to answer the following questions. All right. Now, when it comes to your grade 10 geometry, you've got two types of questions. You have numerical question where you use the properties of quads, the geometry of straight lines, your properties of triangles to determine the sizes of angles. Okay? To determine the size of angles. So that's the first part. The second part now, where you do proofs without finding sizes of angles or the length of sides. So let's start with using the properties of a palm, okay, to determine the sizes of angles. Right, so here we are supposed to determine the sizes of the interior angles of a palm, uh, A, B, C, D. Now, here, because we are given that it is a palm, it therefore means that we can use the properties of a palm. We are told that it is a palm, right? So, to carry on, you need to be aware that A, B will be parallel to C, D, and A, D will be parallel to, to B, C, okay? So first thing, I'm going to say angle A plus angle D are equal to 180 degrees because they are co-interior angles, okay? Co-interior angles, and in this case here, if you add angle A and angle D, the two lines that are parallel is going to be A, B, and C, D. So this will be A, B is parallel to C, D because A, D is going to be a transversal, and DC is going to be a transversal as well, right? Then angle A is equal to 2x minus 30 degrees. Angle D is 2x plus 10 degrees, right? So the objective is to solve for x. That's the objective. So we'll get 4x minus 20 degrees is equal to 180, and you get 4x equal to 160 degrees. Therefore, x will be 40 degrees. Huh? Negative 20 when you take it off. Yeah, I think the Russian is making me make an answer to the question. Alright, so that becomes 4x equal to 200, and x will be 50 degrees. Right? So, what that means is that angle A. It's going to be equal to 2 times 50 degrees, right, minus 30 degrees, and that will give me 70 degrees, right? Which means my angle B is going to be equal to 2 times 50 degrees plus 10 degrees, and that's 110 degrees, right? So I've got my angle A and my angle D, right? My angle A and my angle D. Okay? Now we need to find the, the size of angle B and angle C. Now to find C and B, we have to use the property of a rectangle which says the opposite angles are equal. Okay? The opposite angles are equal. Right? So I found the size of angle A is 70. The size of angle uh, D is, is 110. You can also use co-interior angle to prove that angle A plus, because angle A plus B, they give you what? 180. So you can also use co-interior. So it's your choice here. Yeah? Either use co-interior angles or use the fact that the opposite angles of a palm are equal. Any of those two to find the size of B and C. Okay, I'm going to use opposite angles of a palm are equal. So let me move on to the next step. Please bear with me. I'm trying to be as quick as possible. I've lost a, a bit of some time because of setting up and stuff. Can I get one? Okay. So, angle D is equal to angle B. So I'll say angle B is equal to angle D. But opposite sides of now, if you look at the acceptable the opposite angles, rather, if you look at the acceptable reason that I gave you, right, you can write this as opposite angles of then you put the parallel lines and then M there. Okay, that represents a 
parallel of that. Okay? 110 degrees and 10 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 degrees. Also, angle A is equal to angle C. My reason opposite angles of the parallelogram. So that would be in my angle C is equal to 70 degrees. Now, I've used the fact that the opposite angles of a term are equal. As I said, you can also use co-interior angles. You still get the same result. Okay. Any question? Do you have any question? If you don't have a question, then let's carry on. Right, the next one, that's number four. All right, so in this diagram, you are given that angle A is 80 degrees, angle C is 35 degrees, and uh, you need to determine the interior angles of palm M, E, and B. Okay? Now, well, in my case, the first thing that I'll do is I'll calculate the size of this angle B first. Okay? I'll calculate the size of angle B first because I know that angle A is given and angle C is given. So I'll say in triangle ABC, angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. And my reason sum of angles in a triangle. Right, let me change this color. Okay? Then, my angle B is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees plus 35 degrees. So this will give me 180 minus 115 degrees and you get 65 degrees. That's the size of angle B. Right? Are you following that? Right? Now, just to emphasize this, it's very important for you to get used to writing this part. Especially if you have got a triangle involved. Identify the triangle, name the triangle. Okay? Right? So once I know the size of angle B, I'm going to use that to determine all the other angles. I'm going to use angle B to determine all the other angles. So first, it's my choice. E2 is equal to angle B. So I'll say angle E2 is equal to angle B. Right? Fortunately, I'm told that M, E, and B is a term, so I can use any of the properties of a term. So this would be opposite angles of a palm, right? Therefore, angle E2 is equal to 65 degrees. Okay? So I now have E2. I use the property of angles of uh, a palm. Right? Then, I need to determine M2. Please, it's your choice in terms of the sequence of finding all the angles. It is your choice. So I'm going to find M2. Okay? Now to find M2, I'm going to use angle B. I can also use angle E2, which is again your choice. Okay? So I'm going to use angle B. Angle B plus angle M2 add up to 180 because they are co-interior. Okay? So I'll write here angle M2 plus angle B, they add up to 180, and the reason co-interior angles. Then I need to state the lines that are parallel. Okay? If I go back to my diagram here, because angle B and angle M2 are on the same side of the transversal, and that transversal is going to be NB, it will be ME is parallel. Now, it is your choice again to say ME is, is parallel to BN. You can also say it's parallel to BC. Okay? Because Point B, N, and C, in maths, we call them 
all linear points. Okay? All linear points. They are all on the same straight line. So it is your choice there. I'm going to say ME is parallel to BC. But if you put BN, it's also correct. Okay? So I'll say ME is parallel to BC. ME is parallel to BC. Therefore, angle of M2 is going to be 180 degrees minus 65, and you get 105 degrees. Okay, so I found uh, M2. Now, to find angle, this angle here, that is N1, I can use M2, I can use angle B, I can also use angle E2, right? But I'm going to use M2. So I'll say opposite angles of a pump. So angle M2 is equal to angle N1. And the reason is opposite angles of a pump. Therefore, N1 is equal to 115 degrees. Okay. Now, it's very important for you to be aware that some geometry questions like this one here have got many ways of getting the answers. So whatever comes in, into your head at that moment, use that. As long as you are using the correct geometry concepts, then it's okay. All right? And please, this is not the only way of getting the answers, because there are more than one way of, uh, of, of doing it. All right? Any questions? Okay, if you don't have a question, then allow me to carry on. Allow me to carry on. Right, question five. So here we are told that A, B, C, D is a pump, and A, D, A, B is equal to A, D, that is this side here is equal to that side. So let me use this color. So A, D is equal to, A, D is equal to A, B. Now to check this, A, B is equal to A, D. That's what we are told in the question here. And A, B, C, D is a pump, okay? Which means, well, what type of a part is this? Huh? If you want to be more specific, it will be what? A rhombus. Okay. It's a pump, but it's unique in, in the fact that A, D is given as being equal to what? To A, B. And one of the properties of a pump is that the opposite sides are what? Are equal. Therefore, C, D is going to be equal to A, B, and A, D is going to be equal to B, C. Which means we end up having a rhombus. But a rhombus is also a pump. Okay? So let's carry on here. Angle C is 110. Calculate the size of all the interior angles. First, I'll just say angle A is equal to angle C because they are opposite angles of a pump. Okay? So my angle A is going to be equal to 110 degrees. So here, I want to calculate all the interior angles. Once I get this angle here, and I'm given that one, to carry on, it is my choice. Okay, the interior angles that we are trying to calculate here are the interior angles of the pump. But we can go further and calculate B1 and, uh, and B2 and so on. So let's calculate. BC, 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 BC. Right? If I want to calculate the size of angle B, then it means I have to write that. So my angle. Minus 110 degrees. And that will give me 70 degrees. Okay, All right? Then, one of the properties of a pump is that the, uh, the diagonal bisect opposite angles. 
Okay, that's one of the properties of a rhombus. Right? So B1, I can say B1 is equal to B2, right? Both are equal to 35 degrees. And my reason here is to say that of rhombus. Okay? That of rhombus because the diagonals bisect the opposite angles. So if you want to write it in full, you can. Diagonals of rhombus bisect opposite angles, but you can write it in that way. Alright? So I found B1 and B2 there. Then I need to move on to find angle D1 and D2. Now, to find D1 and D2, I can use all the angles. Okay? There's more than one way of finding D1 and D2. So let me find angle B first. Sorry, angle D first. So my angle D is equal to angle B. They are opposite angles of a, a palm. Okay, so angle D will be equal to 70 degrees. Therefore, angle D1 is equal to D2, and they are both equal to 35 degrees because the diagonals of a rhombus bisect the opposite angles. Okay, so that's it. Uh,